The bill and materials section is where all the materials, rental equipment, and other non-labor related items are stored for use in your assemblies. When you first click on the material list section, you will note that there's a list of roughly 14 to 1500 line items in this section. These are lists of the most common materials used in construction today. Grabbing the scroll bar, you can see the various framing materials coming on down and that will be in section six as you can see coming up here and there is your framing and looking now you can begin to see all the different framing materials we've got in here. All right, keeping on going on down to windows. There's your windows coming up. All the different stuff that's in there. Going further on down, we're going down to getting into insulation. And you can see some of the stuff in here that we've got listed. Okay, going further down. I'm just showing you these things as we go so you can see the variety of things that we have in this program. 243 and 244 are trim molding, interior and exterior trim molding for the work that you can be doing on, in and around a home. This goes all the way down, goes through painting, drywall, all kinds of miscellaneous hardware and fasteners. Goes all, got tons and tons and tons of stuff through there. Let's highlight 61150 and let's go up here and show detail. This show detail gives you kind of a bird's eye view of what's inside each one of these light items. And if I went down here and clicked on this one, you can see it changes here. And in each one of them that I go right down there, I can check the whole database by just leaving that window open. I can also move that window around if I want, if it makes it easier for me to work with when I'm clicking up and down through the database and changing the numbers. Okay. If I want to turn this off, I simply go up and click on Hide Details and it's gone. The Search For field up here at the top is the same as you will find in most software programs. Type in any common construction related term in the program and you will know if that data is included in this database. Here's an example. Let's type in the word vent. And you'll notice right down here at the bottom, almost immediately up will come vent block. And if we want to find next item of vent, we hit click find next and it keeps right on down through that list. Okay, anything with the word B-E-N-T and it will come up now. Here's another one, roof vents. And that's the way it works.